Okay, uh, I got the the dirty S10 in the shop tonight. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how I um, install a spotlight on a truck. Um, I usually do that every truck I get because uh, we we grow cranberries and um, a lot of times you're you're watering at night or you're watching frost at night and you got to use the spotlight to see the sprinklers make sure they're all working it's gonna go right there um, I will show you what the dog did today I thought well let's put them in the back here uh, while I'm putting pipe out uh, getting ready for to watch frost so I figured let's put them back here he can't get out and I'll put, put a little blanket down for him so he can lay down while I'm doing some work because I can't trust him yet uh, running around I don't trust him yet anyway I had the window open for him to get some air and you can see he ripped the screen out and uh, he made an escape out the window so I'll have to get some uh, to get some more screen and I guess I'll be doing a repair on the, on the, the screen for the top or two. You see that one's got the screen in it yet. Looks like there's a one hole in it. Might as well replace them both I guess while I'm doing it. So that's more work for me to do now. But I am uh, I'm going to start on this spotlight install here and um, I got my kit right from uh, Unity. This is the 29RH bracket kit. This works for um, 98 to 2005 S10 pickup. And I know what you're saying, the right hand um, the right hand bracket goes on the other side of the truck, but according to this, you order the, the right hand side or the driver's side. That's what number four means. Okay, well anyway, in this kit, in this box here, you get... Um, directions, which is this and this. They tell you how to install it. You get a uh, bracket for the door. You get a gasket for that. Uh, a bushing here for uh, to drill it out. I'll show you how that works later. This is the little bracket that holds the light from uh, pushing outwards. It's on the inside of the cab. This goes on the uh, the door because it'll be angled on the inside you got screws to hold the bracket in um, you get a little grommet for running your wire through your door a little hole, wire holder for the handle uh, this deal I'm not even sure what this is for but um, I've never used one on one of these lights and this is the I guess the screw for this brat this thing here but I'm not going to use that um, I guess that's what comes in the kit. So then when you get the kit, you get you open this deal up here and it's got a whole bunch of patterns all over it for different trucks because this will fit more than just the S10. And for the S10 though, it's saying I need pattern 8038, which is right here. 8038. So I'm going to cut that out right now. Okay, so I got the pattern cut out here. <clears throat> and you can see it says place uh, 9 inches above the corner of the fender. I'm corner of the fender is right here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to measure up 9 inches wherever that is. And I'm going to tape this on to the door 
and uh, you can see it says place along the edge of the door so you place that along the edge of the door and then I'm going to take a punch and I'm going to punch out these two holes there's one there and one there and you gotta punch these punch them out so you make an indentation and then you're gonna drill them holes out with uh, I believe an eighth inch drill bit eighth inch drill bit so I'm going to measure that tape it on there and uh, punch my hole out okay I got my uh, pattern set up here um, I got it along the door here and uh, I set it in place <clears throat> they wanted this nine inches from the corner of the fender here I put it up there I didn't like where it was sitting kind of looked like it was uh, kind of in the way of this mirror here so what I did is I moved this up to ten and a half inches um, I think that's gonna gonna put this mount the handle and the mount in a better spot so I got my center punch I'm gonna find the holes and I'm going to uh, put it put a dimple it doesn't take much uh, to uh, put a dimple in uh, the sheet metal so Should have nice little dimples there to uh, drill out now. Okay, got my eighth inch drill bit in my Dewalt, and uh, I'm going to drill out the holes I just punched. This is sheet metal, so it does not take much to get through, so this is pretty easy. Okay, then you take your bracket, put your little gasket behind it. And you take your mounting screws that came with it and you're going to mount them up here. Um, I like to put a little bit of silicone or something back there and then screw holes you just made so you don't uh, get a bunch of corrosion there. Just screw it on. Nice and tight. Now the mount's mounted. Okay, you can see the mount is now mounted on the door. Now the fun part's up next. Okay, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the bushing that was included with the kit and you're going to stick it in there and you're going to tighten that up. Tighten that up in there. Okay, next thing, this is, this is the fun part of doing this. 
Um, you're going to take a half inch drill and you're going to use this bushing and you're going to drill out this hole where the spotlight is going to go through the door. Um, and so this is basically, you're going to drill crooked into the sheet metal and you got to go through the outside sheet metal and then you got to go through the inside sheet metal. So um, this, this part you need to really, really take your time. You got to have a nice sharp drill bit um, and you're going to want to hold on to this drill tight because drilling into something crooked is really really not the easiest thing to do and if you let this drill fly all over the place you can possibly pull out your mounting screws so this this step just take your time take as long as you need to do this uh, go nice nice and easy nice and slow and uh, you can get this done Okay, now that I got through the first part of the door, I'm just retightening the mounting screws because they've gotten loose a little bit. So now I'm going to go through the second part of the door. Just about through. And I am through. Perfect spot, I believe. Okay, you can see, not the easiest thing to drill out, but uh, it is possible. Kind of hard on these screws, drilling it out. That's why I like to use um, that Dewalt or something where the drills will slip in the chuck instead of uh, totally grabbing and ripping this thing right out of the mount. Um, you can see where it came out in a perfect spot there. Um, I had to trim my rubber with my razor blade. But you can see that's where the hole is. That's where the, the control for the spotlight is going to slide through. And uh, that's pretty much the hardest part of this install, I'm going to uh, pull this bushing out because all this does is for the drilling. And uh, I'm going to get uh, to installing my spotlight. Okay, the spotlight I have for this truck is a little, a little five incher. Um, this is a Unity 
spot light. This is actually brand new. Kind of has an old look to it, but uh, it is a brand new light. Uh, model number 250V-H. Um, actually, I, I'm going to swap out this longer handle, I believe. I got a shorter handled one. I think it'll keep it out of the way in the dash there. I'm going to see if that works out. Um, if it doesn't, then uh, I'll just run the longer shaft, I guess. These lights come apart real easy. Um, there's a screw right here. You loosen that up. Actually, I think you got to take it out. And then the handle comes off it. And you basically take this light and slide it through here. It's supposed to fit through there. Okay. Someone didn't tighten up this one here. So I got to tighten that up. Okay, with that bolt tightened up, I should be able to slide the light in now. Seems like I'm getting hung up on something. Okay, I'm having trouble getting my spotlight in there, so I'm going to take my air tool here and I'm going to trim some of this top off because uh, apparently there's some more there that it won't and it won't let it go through. Scratching up my light here. I've never had any problems with that not going through there. So I don't know what the heck is going on. Something's catching in there. And I don't understand it. The hole's drilled straight. Okay, I've been struggling here and uh, trying to get this this light through this hole. Um, I thought that I didn't drill it out good enough, or there was something in the way, some piece of steel in the in the double wall in the door. And I've been trying to take my my Dremel tool and grind away at whatever was causing the problem. Look at my light. She's all scratched up the shaft. And come to find out, it's this this top screw that Unity sent me is actually too long and it hits the shaft of the light. And I'm not sure why Unity would send a bracket where the screw goes through and hits the shaft. That makes no sense at all. Absolutely no sense at all. Now I got a scratch light. And on top of that, this top screw is pretty much stripped out. Because as I drilled through, my drill hit this top, this top screw, hit the top of it. And now it's uh, pretty much hanging on there by a thread. It's pretty much stripped out. So I don't know what happened to Unity there. They're an awesome company and they totally dropped the ball on this. Totally dropped the ball. 
you can hear I am I am frustrated. Um, there is a bushing that, that you slide in here that goes in here. You can't see it right there. It's right in there. And you push the light on. You push it all the way through. You see it sticking out here. And I gotta add my handle. Wow, this is scratched up so bad. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Unity makes a product like that. I'm gonna mount my handle on there now and get it adjusted to where I want it. Now there are a couple of slots. There's a slot here in the shaft and there's a slot in the deal. And um, you kind of got to get those lined up. You got to get everything lined up. You got to push that nut out so it goes on. You got to find out where she goes. Tighten down that nut. And uh, that's what the... Uh, okay, so, something's wrong here. Not in all the way or something here. I gotta grease that. I gotta grease that thing because it's not, it should move easier than that. I gotta tighten this up so it ain't so free, so it has a little bit of resistance there. You don't wanna go too tight, otherwise, uh, it's really hard to turn it. You just want it so it holds itself up so it don't fall down. And you can see that, look at how loose that is already. And I can't tighten it up. I can't tighten it up anymore because that's, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think I may call Unity and uh, give them a piece of my mind, I think, because uh, that shouldn't have happened. I'm going to open up this cap here, just a little screw. I'm going to pull this cap off, and uh, this is where the gears are. If I can get it off here, it usually is pretty easy to come off. And the grease usually kind of gets uh, It's hard in there.
Okay, I forgot to show you here when, when mounting it on the inside, you got your uh, retainer and your little rubber uh, little rubber deal here. And that basically keeps the light from walking out of the deal. So it stays in there. It's not going to fall out. You got your wire retainer right here that holds the, the wire. And you can see nice scratched up shaft because they sent too long of a screw there. Which is nice. Um, for what I'm going to do for the wiring right now is I'm just going to run it uh, into the door panel there. I run it down and then to, to here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, then I got, hold on, let me get this, let me get some light. Okay, I run it down, down the door panel to about there. Then I run it over to my fuse box. Uh, I just put a tiny little notch in that fuse box to uh, allow the wire to go through. And if I choose to run my wire into the, into the door here, through that boot and then up through here which probably I end up doing that someday here's a little notch I put in there and even if uh, when I'm if I don't run it through there you'll never see that notch um, I powered the wire off there's a terminal right there and that's constant hot and I just stuck one of those uh, one of these wires into it. If I can get it out. I just put one of these on there. And uh, I'll, I'll show you something here. Okay. Um, you don't need to ground these spotlights. All you need is one power wire. And I'm going to show you that if you touch the light here and I touch the the deal that I'm going to, you can see that uh, the light is, is, is already grounded because of the, the mounting, mount, it mounts right into the door. So you don't have to worry about a ground wire, just one power wire. There's a constant hot right there. I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but it's empty and it's constant hot. So that's what I'm going to run that to for now. And uh, I'll, I'll show you this. Um, I'll turn it on here for you and show you once I get that plugged in and, and uh, buttoned up here. And uh, there's just enough slack there so when I close the door, I already checked it, it's not going to pinch or nothing. There's, there's enough space here left that this doesn't pinch. Um, I'll eventually run it into the door panel and through this boot and hook it up that way so it's uh, hooked up. And uh, the, the power wire is right here. It's on, off, on. You can see it's, uh, it's a pretty bright light. I will probably upgrade this to HID eventually and I will show you uh, how I do that. And then when you're not using it, fold the tux just like that. Hardly know it's there, but uh, spotlight is one of the uh, the most useful deals that you can put on a truck. I think once you have one, you'll always have one because they're they're just they're so nice. You you can put the light pretty much anywhere that you want to put the light. Um, so I guess this this. So uh, went fairly smooth except for uh, this mounting screw right here. Should have been a lot shorter and Unity should have known that. Um, this is pretty much stripped out but it's, it's holding. I'm not sure exactly how I'll fix that. Um, I'll see how it holds up and if this keeps loosening up I'll have to do something with it. Maybe weld it up and then redrill it out or something. But I guess um, there is uh, 
uh, Unity Spotlight uh, mounted in, in, a, in an S10 for you. And uh, it usually goes a lot smoother when Unity sends the right parts. And I'm really surprised, really surprised with Unity because they're a really good company that they uh, did not supply a shorter screw and have that in the directions. But whatever, I guess, I don't know. Seems like all the companies these days are, are screwing up because they're trying to cut costs everywhere, but... <laughs> 